Continue on from our last lesson, we're going to begin looking at DNA. So lesson two will focus solely on DNA. So greetings DNA. Even though DNA is as old as life itself, we have only recently been introduced to it. Like the story of the theory of evolution, DNA has its own story, a story of passion, imagination and determination that has involved the use of new technologies and the development of many more. The abbreviation DNA is so well known that it is often used as a word itself. DNA is the abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid. So, what is DNA? Could you copy these notes into your book? DNA is made up of repeating uni units called nucleotides. Each of these nucleotides consists of a sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Continuing copying these notes into your notebook, in the nucleotides that make up DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose and the nitrogenous base in each nucleotide is one of four different types. Adenine, which is A, thymine, which is T, guanine, which is G, or cytosine, which is C. Each nucleotide in DNA may contain one of the four uh, nitrogenous bases listed here. Nitrogenous bases are attached to the sugar part of the nucleotide. So you can see this here is the sugar part, the phosphate, and there here is the uh, nitrogenous base, depending on which base is attached to each sugar. Base pairs. Continue copying these notes into your notebook. A DNA molecule is made up of two chains of nucleotides. Hydrogen bonds join uh, the complementary nitrogenous base pair. So what this means is that two pairs will pair together with a hydrogen bond um, that complement each other. The complementary pairs are pair in the pattern of adenine binds to thymine and cytosine to guanine. This matching of the nitrogenous bases is often referred to as the base pair. Continue copying these notes into your notebook. For example, the DNA segment um, that we have listed here, if we look at this strand of DNA, so this is just a short segment of DNA, uh, the coding or the genotype. So we have G-A-T-T-A-C-A, -A -A. so guanine, adenine, thymine, thymine, adenine, cytosine, and adenine. To code the complementary pair, we would need to consider the base pairs um, rule, so the matching rule, that G always pairs with C and A always pairs with T. So to complete the complementary pair or strand of DNA that bonds with the or original strand of DNA, we would have G pairs with C, A with T, T with A, T with A, A with T, C with G and A with T. DNA molecules have the appearance of a double helix or spiral ladder. Using the spiral ladder metaphor, DNA can be considered as having a sugar phosphate backbone, which represents the frame of the ladder, and rungs, or steps, of the ladder are made up of the complementary base pairs of the nitrogenous bases that are joined together by those hydrogen bonds. So if we consider the metaphor that we just used, we can look at this diagram to help explain that. So here I have the four nitrogenous base pairs, or our four base pairs, thymine, cytosine, adenine, guanine. Over here I have the pairing rules, so A with T, G with C, and then we look here at our ladder. Okay, so the DNA strand is actually a double helix, so it spirals upon itself. So you could think of it as a spiral case staircase, or that our ladder is twisted. So the backbone of the phosphate um, and sugar is the gray parts that you can see here. And then the rungs, which are made up of our base pairs, the complementary base pairs, are the rungs or the steps of the ladder. Okay, so we have thymine pairing with adenine, cytosine pairing with guanine. Okay, so um, could you please co copy these complementary base pair questions into your notebook? I've provided the pairing rules at the top in the right hand corner here for you to help. So remembering A pairs with T, G pairs with C, 
to complete the two questions. So you're completing the complementary strand of DNA. Please pause so that you can do this. All right, so in case you would like to check your answers, I'm gonna quickly run through what they would look like. So you should have A with T, T with A, G with C, G with C, T with A, A with T, G with C, C with G, T with A, A with T, A with T, C with G, C with G, T with A, and T with A. So to summarize, um, if you have the ability to access the internet, I've provided a link to a small YouTube clip that will look at what is DNA and how does it work. So the basics of DNA will go through some of the concepts that we've discussed this lesson to re further reinforce that for you. I'd also like you to have a look at the two worksheets that have been provided for this lesson. The first is a cut and paste activity that will allow you to construct your own DNA strand, looking at pairing up the correct base pairs um, to create your own double helix. And the second is just an exercise from the textbook where you can also look at further information on what is DNA.